Hi, my name is Ali Shersava from Breacher Digital. In one of our previous videos, um, we talked about how a listen works and uh, why we need one uh, and what is its job. And in this video, we're going to talk about listen construction and why is it that the noise will see a 50 ohm impedance. So here I have drawn the circuit diagram of our listen. Uh, this is a very simple uh, um, um, pre-compliance listen that we use. And if you're having DC, this part does not exist. Uh, so that will be a DC listen. Uh, and AC, they're symmetrical around. So you've got line, you've got neutral, and you've got your protected earth or chassis. Uh, you have got two microfarads capacitors. This is symmetrical. Uh, you've got 50 microhenries, 50 microhenries, 0.1, 0.1, and 1K, 1K. So here is one. I have taken the top off so that we can see the internals of it. And uh, comparing to the circuit diagram, you can see that you've got one microfarad there, and that's this one, another microfarad there. That's actually the other way around, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that's this one, 50 microhenries, 50 microhenries, 0.1 microfarads, 0.1 microfarads. These one kilo ohm resistors are actually soldered at the back of, uh, underneath the, the second side of the board. Uh, and this is just a discharge, it's 0.1 uh, microfarad capacitor so that when you connect your spectrum analyzer, you don't, you don't blow the front end up. And then um, on the front, you have got the live, neutral, and protective earth. Live, neutral, and protective earth. And then the noise is seen on these two channels. However, note that when you connect your uh, um, spectrum analyzer, that is a 50 ohm load, which will look like this. So that's 50 ohm of the spectrum analyzer. And in order for it to be balanced, therefore, so if you're connecting the BNC cable of the spectrum analyzer, you must put a 50 ohm terminator here. So that'll be another 50 ohms. Um, so now if you consider what the noise will see at high frequencies, the noise from your device under test is going to, let's, let's look at this half a stage, it's going to come this way. At high frequencies, this is going to be very uh, high in terms of impedance, and therefore the noise gets diverted through here. The impedance of this will be small, so it's going to arrive at this point. And then you have got a 50 ohm resistor in power with one kilo ohm. It's roughly around 50, and it's going to, and you are sitting here, and you're looking at the voltage that is being induced rough, they be being formed across this, across this resistor. However, you must make sure that your 50 ohm terminator is connected there. Now, if you want to measure the impedance from this side, then the BNC cable of the spectrum analyzer goes to this one, and then you connect the terminator onto the other end. So, um, now we're going to go to the lab and we're going to make a real measurement and hopefully see that it's around 50 ohms from both line and neutral. Okay, so here is my listen and I'm going to try and measure the impedance of the listen with my body 100 as seen by the device on the test or, or, or the noise. So um, I have, uh, I'm doing a single port measurement on the body 100. I've already calibrated it uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my signal injected at the moment into line and uh, protective earth but as i mentioned before please remember that uh, there is going to be a 50 ohm worth of a spectrum analyzer here so i'm going to put a terminator there to pretend that there's a spectrum analyzer and of course we have to make that balance so there's going to be another 50 ohms there so the uh, the tab here signifies the the ground of the body 100 that is my live and you plug it over here and you make your measurement now that is from line to protective earth and then if you want to measure it from neutral to protective earth you flip it around again the tab has to go the ground bit has to go to the, to the chassis and it goes there so let's go to the pc and see what we are measuring as i mentioned earlier on I've already calibrated the body 100 and you can see that it's between the range that I am looking at, it's almost uh, 50 ohms. It tends to go up a little bit as you approach 30 megahertz. That is actually, a lot of other listeners do that. And you can see that at 150 kilohertz, again, the beginning of our test span um, uh, for conducted emissions, the ones that we use in the workshop, the, the impedance is approaching 
50 ohms. And all this area here actually falls below the test band. However, I'm plotting it so that we'll see the impact of how as the frequency changes, the impedance of the listen change. But for the test band that we're interested in, it's almost 50 ohms.